Hello and welcome to Hating TV. I'm Justin and today we've got Charlie here as well. We are doing the aftermath of Storm Kira and Storm Dennis of putting this piece of our shed, which is our homemade lift up um, top panel to the shed back up again. We're going to fix this panel, it's going to be a bit of a bod job, not going to lie, pretty much everything I touch is a bod job. Uh, chief bod assistant, yep. myself, uh, we've got to pop out to another farm a second to get some planks and stuff that we keep lying around for these sort of occasions. Mostly we keep them lying around because we want to fix the shed and the shed blew the hell, uh, which is handy because then we up a new shed after our bodge roof fix did not work but we took all the roof panel pieces and kept all the materials for days like this don't throw anything away right so we're out at the other farm obviously you recognize where we are compost heat is behind us uh, we brought the Polaris Ranger, I'll give a little bit of chat behind, about this one. So, the Polaris Ranger. This machine is about six years old, if not seven. It does everything we want to. It's quick, it's nimble, uh, it's got great lock. Some people love Polaris, some people really don't. Um, I expect there's a lot of people that are Gator fans. We we looked at the Gator, we thought the cab was a bit too small. We chose not to have doors on um, an RTV. And you know, like we're always jumping in and out, so there's no point really having a door. We're not in it long enough. It tips, got a gas ram underneath this back bit here. Use it for doing logs not logs that you see around here right now this is something totally different um, but logs myself which I take home for the fire use it for basically the farm motorized wheelbarrow anything we require to do quite often take this out we got a new set of tires put on it recently which I highly highly recommend being anklers, if you can see that there, and it's got a wolf as their emblem, but they are a serious, serious meaty set of tyres. It tows well. Now we're going to grab some wood for our repairs, which we keep a little lean to next to this barn. This barn used to be completely full of hay. Uh, or one of our main hay stores. We've changed that. Uh, there's a few little holes in the roof and it's an old building so we have decided not to fix all these little holes which we blew in with a straw blower. It's wonderful as straw blowers were and probably still are. The fact that if you put stone through it, it goes out the end like a freaking gun and straight through roof panels. Uh, turns your average really really good nice roof into a very good sieve so anyway out here we have a load of reclaimed timber we have a guy that we know very well who is a roofer and quite often when he changes roofs if there are any tim or if there's any timber that is partly usable he'll bring it out to us we will take or take it apart pull the nails out and then we've got very very useful timber for odd jobs like fixing what we're about to fix and as you can see these aren't exactly small planks so for any sort of job we're going to do there is plenty of life left in that
right, we just got back. As you can see, if anyone hasn't uh, taken plates of wood back on our TV before, we use one strap, you loop it, and then you loop it again. That will grip your timber or pole or anything that is basically long and hold it in position. So that, even if I'm pushing it, will not budge and it's done with one strap. If anyone's wondering why there are two grab spikes inserted in these holes, that is for when we're bringing logs out, uh, cut up trees that we can have long branches and just keep stacking them in the back. Just a little quick idea to use as like two little pole aids. Life hack right there. So, Charlie's sorting timber out. I am going in here to get when I concentrate on kind of talk rather than just let myself for a door. Get the power screwdriver where I left it and a box of screws, six inch screws. We don't want this happening again very soon. So we'll try and make it as strong as possible because these storms don't seem to be letting up at all. Right, as you can see, this is a Bodge homemade panel. At the moment, I'm currently lucky that it has been held in with a metal pin, which is a broken hate and a time, which will hopefully act a bit of a hinge point for me when I lift it up in a second. So idea being, I'm gonna lift it up with a telehandler, let it, let the telehandler take the weight and then put, start putting things back into place. I will explain the method behind the madness as we go along. Why I've just literally just screwed a piece of 2B1 straight up without cutting or measuring. If you just hit the piece straight up and it just cuts straight off at the bit you don't want. It's a much, much quicker way of doing it, especially when it can absolutely piss down at any moment. These sheets of pie have rotten off from the wrong screws and are falling away. So the baton will just hold them on. The, in the grand scheme of things, we want to knock down this whole shed and put up a new one. So there's no point wasting too much time and loads of money on trying to fix it properly. So I'll just make it there, get it back up, get it back in the shed. As you saw earlier, we went and grabbed. Uh, those three big planks. One we're putting up here to add as a post, which we're going to screw to the lower door and screw to the top beam going across, and which is holding those panels up there. And then we're going to put another one over on the far side, uh, over there, point my thumb. And if I don't, we don't think it's strong enough, we'll put what the last one in the middle, screw it all together, and that'll be hopefully jobs are good
high things from here. It just went wrong. So, I had that panel balancing on the ridge of that lower door. Idea being, with pressure, we'd be able to push it up into place and then quickly screw it on. That's not worked. So, bam B, we're going to tip it up, go underneath it, relift it, and then push it into place where we want it, and then screw it up. So, fingers crossed, this time works. Now we have got the panel up. The panel never did line up square because it was built slightly too big because we extended the shed from that end to this end and the fall of the shed is less at this end if my memory serves me correctly. So when we put the panels which were further back this end, they never lined up properly again. So we have got to just pack out these gaps to join our post we put in to the panel at the front. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, the next 10 storms we have in the next six days, um, hopefully won't smash this to pieces. If it does, I will take a photo and I'll put it on Instagram and we'll put it on Snapchat and everyone can laugh at the bodge but the bodge will work, it will work. So these are what we call the problem solvers. If <laughs> uh, things aren't going quite right, stick a couple of these bad boys, which I think are 12 inch screws and they solve all annoying problems. So I forgot to say, who you saw earlier uh, loading up with forklift going in now, that was Lewis. Lewis taking out a, another delivery. He'd just come back from one and he was taking out another one. 
is Raw Shortness is back now. He's coming for a chat in a minute. He is loading up another load, but this load is for tomorrow. Uh, obviously, he's taken a load out already. We've, Charlie and I, have finally finished fixing the shed. So we've actually got panel back up. It's not pretty. <clears throat> it's not pretty at all, but it'll do the job. Any further ado, here's the bodge job. A bodge job is a good job. Tell I want here. Tell I want that. <laughs> he always thinks his work, his craftsmanship is better. But hopefully, it will stand up there for another year uh, or two until we replace this shed. Oh, you really don't need him, do you? You really don't need him. Did you have a good trip? Not really. Why not? Crap day. Why have you had a crap day? Just have. It's been one of those days. <laughs> He's had a bad day. We've had a good day. Uh, oh, some big thank yous before we forget. Again, thank you for Case Farms for giving us a shout out. And Farmer P for a shout out on Instagram. And KV6080. Thank you guys a lot. Uh, means a lot. Really grateful. Loads of subscribers. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe and if you haven't yet ring that bell give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw give us a thumbs down if you didn't give us a comment uh let us let us know any damages you've had on your farms or things that we might have done better on our boss shop thank you very much see you in the next one